In this video, we see how to communicate between two target computers over Ethernet in real time. We have a Simulink model set up with two data elements that we want to send to another target. The two sine waves represent the data we wish to send. On the receiving target, we would like to receive and plot the received data. We have two target computers set up and will configure target TX to be the transmitter and target RX to be the receiver. Each target needs to have a dedicated Ethernet card for this application, in addition to the card that is used for host target communication. The targets shown here have such a dedicated PCI card in bus 5 slot 0. The cards in each of the targets are connected by means of a dedicated Ethernet network. In the current setup, a crossover Ethernet cable is used. This means that there is no other network traffic which may affect the real-time communication between the targets. This is necessary to reduce packet losses. Both targets are defined in the Simulink Real-Time Explorer. Let us first set up the transmitter model. To configure the dedicated Ethernet card, add an Ethernet configuration block from the Simulink Real-Time Ethernet library. Set the driver, PCI bus, and PCI slot values appropriately for the dedicated Ethernet card. Next, we add a bit packing block to convert the double outputs of the sine wave blocks to uint8, which is what the Ethernet packet requires. This is indicated as a mask parameter. Next, the uint8 data is fed into a create Ethernet packet block. The second input to the block length also has to be provided. We need to set the destination MAC address and the ether type of the packet. The MAC address of the receiver card is obtained from the data accompanying the card and set here. Finally, an Ethernet transmit block actually sends the packet over the network. Now it's time to set up the receiver model. The Ethernet card on target RX is configured similar to that on target TX. The receive chain is analogous to the transmit chain. It starts with an Ethernet receive block, which feeds into an extract Ethernet packet block. This block also outputs other information, like the source and destination MAC addresses. Since we do not use this information, these ports are terminated. Once the data is extracted, we unpack it by using the byte unpacking block. The settings here complement the settings of the pack block in the transmit model. Finally, a target scope is used to display the received signal. Both models are built and downloaded to the respective target computers. The transmit model is started, followed by the receive model. The receive signal can now be seen on the target RX screen. As expected, we see the two sine waves. It is possible to have up to 8 dedicated Ethernet cards on a target. To configure an additional card, just add another Ethernet configuration block. Each card is identified by a unique device ID set in the configuration block. A particular transmit or receive block indicates which card to use by matching the device ID to that on the configuration block. This concludes the video showing how to communicate between two real-time targets using raw Ethernet. For more information about the product, please browse the product webpage.